That's a terrible idea. Skip. Mm. So let me get this right. Of a 200 and possible 46 games he could have played in, he's missed 215. Scared with it. When you cover the NBA a lot longer than I've, almost longer than I've been alive, Skip. Mm -hmm. But I know something about big men and injuries. Mm -hmm. And this is what we know. Big men that have injuries with their ankles and feet early, they don't get healthier as they get older. Ask Greg Oden. Mm -hmm. Sam Bowie. Ask Bill Walton. Bill Walton. Yeah. Uh, Rick Smith. Yep. Andrew Bynum. Mm -hmm. Zeke. Uh, uh, Ilgoskis. Mm -hmm. Yep. He's 23. He's had feet problems and left last year he missed most of the season with a left knee. Mm -hmm. And you give the guy 30, basically almost $30 million that they can go up to 178 for a guy that's played 31 games, has never played back-to-back -back game, and, and is on a minutes restriction. It's hard for me to believe, Skip, as he gets older, that he will get healthier. Mm -hmm. This makes no sense to me. At least, I don't, I don't want him to become a free agent, but I'm gonna let it go into the season. Skip, I, I, I can't, I can't give this guy this kind of money on 31 games. Mm. I know what he can't, and, and you notice when everybody's talking, oh, when he's out there, when? Oh, if you see him in practice, if you see him, in, can I get 30 million dollars for 31 games, Skip? Mm. Is that what that is that what the going rate is in the NBA? I guess it's good pay. Mm. It's, it's good pay there if you can get it. Yep. I was all in on Joel Embiid before that draft, and I remain all in. I hear all of your concerns and all of your doubts, though Zach Lowe of ESPN has reported this might be as complex a contract as ever been signed because I'm sure it's just laden with injury outs and, and incentives, and I'm sure there's a lot of protection for the team because everything you said is exactly right. He is seven feet tall, and when you're seven feet tall and you weigh – he's listed at 250. Shh. It might be a little more than that. Yeah. yeah. LeBron James is 6'9", 250. Just, he's so you 60. I guarantee you, Joel, yep. Joel Embiid is every bit of 290, okay, 300 So it's pounds. a lot of pounding on yes. the feet, and he's had trouble with the feet. He's had trouble with his back. He had a meniscus tear last year, and they tried to let it go away, and then they fixed it, and I think he's good. I have a source inside the Sixers who say they, they trust his health going forward, but you could be right because history would say you were right. But if they are right, this is a special kid now. Yeah. He's smart. He has high basketball IQ. And when you can have – I know it's just 31 games, but I saw him at Kansas, and he does one thing you cannot teach your coach. He can block shots like a demon. He blocked 2.5 a game for those 31 games. That's extraordinarily high. Oh, he's he's going to get you 20 and 10. That's what oh, he's going to get you. Oh, he's Yeah. He got post talented. move. He can shoot the three. I mean, a big man that has that kind of range. Yep. He's fundamentally sound because I guess he, he has a soccer background. He does. So his feet, he's Elijah Wan-esque. He is. But Elijah Wan did not have, Skip, it's just hard for me to believe. <sighs> Every time we've seen a guy that have feet and ankle problems at that height no, and I that size, yep. they don't get better. It's, I mean, I'm just going off on history. If it does, he'll be the first. Okay, so you get stuck in that damned if you do and damned if you don't, because if you let him go and he turns into what I think he could turn into, would, would that not come back to haunt you? So you what do. What if he turns and, into Andrew Bynum? Well, he might. What if he turns he into Greg Oden? I'm not sure Andrew Bynum ever turned into Andrew Bynum. I mean, Andrew Bynum, I mean, he was, he was good yeah. for a stretch there. He skip. was. No, he was. But Brett Brown, coach who's taken the beating so far, experts, assistant coach, made a statement the other day. He said, he's talking about Joel, and he said, he reminds me of somebody who can hear music and just play the song. That's how gifted he is. Like, Oh, I got that. Mm -hmm. He's got some basketball genius going on. I don't yes. want to overstate the case, but he really knows how to play instinctively, high IQ, right. and he's got all the skills. And if they're right about his long-term health, they have signed off. But again, they're protected in the contract enough. I would do it. And I'm going to be watching this team this year because – this is some with, – with Ben Simmons and Fultz, this, this is some firepower, man. Didn't he have back surgery he did. last year in college? Yeah, he did. So he had two feet I, and I got it. on the knee. Yeah. So, Skip, I mean, everything that's happening is from basically chained down. That's one thing you don't want to have Okay, happen. so would you just cut bait with him? No, hey. If, if the doctors have signed off and said he's as good as he can be right now, it looks like his foot is healed, his back is healed, and his knee is healed. How would much you, protection? Huh? How much protection? I don't know, but it's very complex. So I'm sure there are many outs in that More deal for them. More than three? 
I want I, I want I want baseball. Yeah. I want I want to. Uh, well, what uh, if you uh, hit the What if you hit the lottery here? Because Ben Simmons is the real deal. I I don't like him scoring the ball. I don't even like his his sort of RPM. I don't think he plays that hard. You don't but, play but, but you, like. Hey, but you don't think he's got the passing gift? Oh yeah, he does. At six ten or whatever. He oh, is? M- Embiid. Yeah. I mean, I watched Woo. him against. Uh, um, I don't watch a lot of the Sixers game, but I did watch him when they played the Cavaliers. Oh, he can deal. Mm-hmm. I mean, he can pole skit, like I said, mid range game, step outside to shoot the three, like block shot. Whew. But man, those, whoo, those injuries. If I'm protected, if I got like 10 outs, okay, I'll do the deal. Mm. You got to trust the process, Shannon. Trust the process. Man, that process done mm. got that general manager fired. Mm. Yeah. You see, that's what happened. When you trust the process, <laughs> when they get good, and <laughs> nobody that hey, started the process. The process around. worked out just With him, fine you for gotta, Joel. What you got to trust is the transverse process, which is in his back, back. right? <laughs> or feet yeah. and ankles. Yeah. We got to leave it Please, there. Excuse me. Yeah. We'll be right back. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed. Or go watch a few segments from the newest show on FS1, First Things First, with Chris Carter and Nick Wright.